I love VI peels for this reason right here. So this is my skin back in 2018, before and after. I got another peel back in July of 2018. My skin looked pretty broken out. And then back in January 2019, this is how my skin looked. And then this is 2021 after having masked me. Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Welcome back to another video. I'm getting another chemical peel. Who, who would I be if I wasn't getting a chemical peel, right? Like, I love them. I feel like it's a good refresher for my skin. And my skin has gotten a lot better since I've been getting peels. Of course, I had to come to Grand Plastic Surgery to get my chemical peels done. They have a brand new office and it's so cool looking. Everybody say hi to JoJo. I find it so cool that Grand Plastic Surgery now has their own OR in office. So you can get surgery at their office without having to go to the hospital. Check them out. I'll leave everything in the description box down below. So this is my skin day one before I got the chemical peel. And my skin honestly feels really nice, I thought, until I saw the results of this chemical peel, okay? Like, I feel like I've made a lot of progress with my skin, but those after results, you'll see towards the end of the video. Okay guys, I'm here with Katie. Katie is the registered nurse here at Grand Plastic Surgery. And she's been doing this for 18 years. So I really trust her when it comes down to my chemical peels. So she's gonna give you guys more information on the peel that I'm getting today before we get started. But I gotta do some other stuff, so I'll be right back. I love this peel. Um, this is a VI peel from Vitality Institute. It is a super safe and effective peel. It is truly medium depth, which I love. It has minimal downtime really. So in about seven days, your skin has a complete turnaround. They're best done in a series of three for people with, with major concerns, but it treats everything from active acne to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation to acne scarring, fine lines and wrinkles. What I love about this peel is it's painless. And with the acids that are blended in here would be very painful if they were used individual, but there's an ingredient called phenol. It's a numbing agent, works great. So we have trichlorosidic acid, retinoic acid, salicylic acid, vitamin C, hydroquinone, kojic acid, and in the one that we're gonna do today with Destiny, um, which is the Purify one, which is great for active acne and also um, acne scarring, benzoyl peroxide. So we're gonna hit uh, Destiny up right now and we're gonna see if she gets that really good um, snake-like peel in a few days. Yes, hit me up. So a lot of people ask me, can they do this at home and can they get this online? I know you can't, but you can answer professionally. Uh, professionally, absolutely not. You know, I really feel like this should be an in-office procedure. Um, the acids at this level, the reason why it's painless is because of the phenol, but you can seriously do damage. You need to be observing the skin for things like frosting. Um, you can cause some scarring. If you aren't really advised on how to do the aftercare, I'm a little concerned about post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation mm -hmm. and making things worse. And it's always great to have someone to call and talk to mm -hmm. when you go through a peel like this. So I have my patients text me all the time. Is this normal? Does this look right? And when you buy online, you really don't have that. And really, oftentimes too, these are these are very temperature controlled items. I'm always worried about if these blends are going to be affected by heat or if they're expired. So we, I, I recommend going to the um, vipeel.com. I'm searching for a practitioner in your area. You can put your zip code in. So yeah, a lot of times I, I have a ton of people who say, yeah, the pricing's better online. You get what you pay for, and you get a, a clinician or a practitioner, and you get someone like a board certified plastic surgeon who will stand behind their practitioner as well doing these don't do it at home what about chemical peels in general like in general if they're self neutralizing which means you don't have to neutralize them on your own uh, uh, through uh, another um, chemical process yeah. um, if they're self neutralizing yeah glycolic lactic acid the, all those over-the-counter ones are great I, I think this is kind of a big gun um, you know with the downtime and with the with the at home care at home absolutely you should be exfoliating on a, on a regular basis um, our skin cells turn over about every 28 to 45 days so we really need to this is not just a one and done kind of thing mm -hmm. you need to really be on stuff at home as well so yay mm -hmm. so jumping right into the process of getting the peel what she does first is she goes in with these little cute pink sponge pads and she goes in and gently cleanses my face just to get off any sunscreen moisturizer anything i put on my face beforehand and this just gets and then don't off. freak out trust me it's okay she's going in with acetone okay so this just really dries out my skin a lot this comes in the vi peel process pack and um she takes this pad with the acetone on it and she just 
really goes in and tries to dry out my face. It's kind of like before you apply nails, you have to dry out the nail bed. Very similar so the product can adhere properly. Pretty similar. Now she's going in with layer one of the VI Purify peel. Um, I'll have all the details on what peel this is down below in the description box. Check out everything down there. Um, she's just applying that very gently um, around my eyes, of course, because you don't want to do too much around the eyes. And then she's kind of applying it pretty roughly um, on my face. I feel like the rougher you are, the better the peel comes out. I don't know how that makes sense, but it does. I feel like the product just penetrates better. So she goes in with that gauze, gauze and just goes in all around my face. And when I tell you this peel was really good, and you'll see throughout the process, it was really good. So this is layer one. She's checking for any um, spots of irritation and stuff like that. I believe she goes in with about three layers of the VI peel until the liquid is gone. Um, I want all that goodness on my face so that I can get a good peel out of this. So she's just applying it all over my face still. So personally for me, um, if you don't hold the fan up to your face, they um, Katie does give me a fan. If you don't hold the fan up to your face while this process is getting done, it does feel a little weird and uncomfortable. It does not hurt to me, but it does feel uncomfortable like... I can't really describe it. So just make sure you have a fan or make sure your nurse practitioner or doctor has a fan before you get this done. It just feels a little awkward. I can't really describe it, but it doesn't hurt. It just feels a little weird. So she's going in. I believe this would be her third layer of the peel. She literally uses the liquid up until it's gone. Yes, I'm definitely leaving here looking like a Oompa Loompa. Like this stuff is really orange and when you go outside, it looks even oranger. <laughs> but you keep this on your face for I think for about four hours until um, then. And then you wash your face off when you get home, um, you know, four hours later. But listen, I mean, this whole process is so worth it to me. Um, even looking like a Oompa Loompa. But yeah, she's just going around my eyes very gently. Um, she doesn't get my under eye area just because that area is really sensitive. So on to the aftercare. All right, so I got my peel on my face and Katie's gonna explain more about like the aftercare and everything. Yep, we did the peel. It's gonna stay on Destiny's face for four hours. Um, and that is a uh, not set in stone. If it stays on a little longer, it's fine. So at least four hours. So if you have to happen to leave it on for five, six hours, that's fine. It is self-neutralizing in that capacity. Um, but we do provide you with, when you first um, wash your face, remember we talked about earlier about the non-active ingredient gentle purifying cleansers. Mm -hmm. The VI peel does come with two, which get you through about two, three days um, after these are done. Th these are most important for you know the initial period right after your peel. Mm -hmm. um, after these are done, just use a non-active ingredient cleanser. So what if I don't do that? What if you don't do what? Like say someone gets this peel and mm -hmm. then they don't do the aftercare or they forget okay. to do the aftercare. So if they forget to do the aftercare or I always have my patients too who get the peel like in the evening. Mm -hmm. If you do your one, if you leave it on for at least four hours, wash your face and at least do the first peel wipe, mm -hmm. you're fine. The ones that you're supposed to do right before bed, do the next morning mm -hmm. and then the next night do the ones the next night. You can't mm -hmm. really mess it up. Okay. I mean, it, it, it's, it's basically to maximize the effectiveness of the peel. Mm -hmm. Um, if you do things out of order, don't panic. Um, yeah. it, it's it's a suggestion, and this is the right way of doing it, but it's really kind of hard to mess up. And okay. if you forget one, just do it when you remember. Okay. okay. But this you won't forget. I don't yeah. Think. I, I think won't it, you won't forget the, the not you, but anybody really. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, you can't it's tacky. Yeah. It's it's orange. It's, mm -hmm. It feels different. Yeah. Easy. Easy. The home care looks overwhelming, but it's really really easy. Mm -hmm. I always tell people, this is your post peel protectant. This is essentially your moisturizer for the next five to seven days. Okay. This is your sunscreen. The biggest tip I'll tell you, and this goes for everybody, and no matter what skin color you are, rub it together in your hands before you apply it to your face and, and get it warmed up, okay? Yeah. Emulsify it a little bit. It will go on so much easier mm -hmm. and you won't have to rub thick. it on. It's very thick. Yeah, so thick. Take, take five, 10 seconds, mm -hmm. warm it up, and then put it on. Mm -hmm. um, and I will say too, the more post peel protectant that you use, the less visible peeling you will see. Because moisturized. It macerates mm -hmm. the skin. It's yeah. just like if you have a dry patch on your arm and you put lotion on it, the dry patch looks like it goes away, but that dry mm -hmm. patch is still there. Mm -hmm. So 
I get that all the time. Um, I'm not peeling. I'm not seeing the visible results of it. You, I guarantee you are peeling on a cellular level. Mm -hmm. So when you get home, you're going to wait four hours. Um, there are five peel pads to use. Um, these are your lightening and your brightening. These are targeted for the um, hyperpigmentation. Okay, so this these aren't really as active for the acne. What we mm -hmm. have on right there has the benzoyl peroxide in it. Mm -hmm. um, these are definitely more for the lightening and the brightening. The vitamin C, retinol, acid, all that good stuff. So when you get home four hours later, you're going to wash your face. You're going to use the VIP Purify towel up. Mm -hmm. Wait until you go to bed. An hour before bed, you're going to wash your face again. You're going to use the Precision Plus towel up. And I do oftentimes number these for my patients. So this is number two. Mm -hmm. Precision Plus. You're going to wait a half an hour. You're going to use your third VIP Purify. And they're all easily labeled in the app. Walks you through it. Um, now, even tonight, these three are gone. So you're not seeing them anymore. So it doesn't seem so overwhelming already. After you use your second towel up before you go to bed, you're definitely going to apply a small amount of the post peel protectant to your skin tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes for um, the next three, or excuse me, the next day two all the way to day seven, even beyond if your skin is still sensitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can use these forever. You're not gonna use any of your at-home products. You're just going to be using these two. Um, tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow morning, you're gonna wake up and wash and just use these two again. Mm -hmm. Um, if during the day you feel like your skin's dry, itchy, mm -hmm. irritated, go ahead and put some more post peel protectant on. It's okay. You it does get itchy. It. So it's tomorrow night, same thing. Wash your face. Use your Precision Plus towel up. Use your Purify towel up half an hour later. Wait 10 minutes. Apply a little bit of the post peel protectant. Um, go to bed. Wake up. Next, you know, it's days three through seven mm -hmm. and beyond. Just these two. You, you will not run out. There will be plenty of non-active ingredient cleanser. No hot water. Um, no saunas, no, 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 no hot tubs, no high intensity interval training or anything that increases your heart rate makes you excessively sweat. Mm -hmm. You want to, you, you know, you invest in your skill. Um, I usually say three, at least three days, at least. And I, I'll tell my girls, cause I have a lot of, a lot of my patients are mm -hmm. uh, athletes and I say, you know, get a really good workout on Thursday morning, mm -hmm. come and see me right after that. Um, and then you can take Friday, Saturday, Sunday off and get back at it on mm -hmm. Monday. Um, you'll know if you're ready on Monday yeah. to, to go again. Um, if you could have done on a Thursday, you'll know when you're ready to get sweaty again. Okay. Um, and so I say take at least 72 to 96 hours off mm -hmm. and the glow will come out. You'll really see the transition period. Um, when, when the peel, if you do get that lifting and sheeting and you can see a clear mm -hmm. transition, please use scissors <laughs> to kind of cut. It's gross. It, it can be gross. Don't, you're going to be very tempted to want to rub it off. Don't do it. Yeah. It's not ready. Don't peel it. Yeah. That's okay. it. Yeah. Check the description box. So I'll put mm -hmm. a lot of things down there for you guys, especially if you're interested in getting the VIP and you're not in the Rochester area. So I'll put some information down there that you guys can use and like try to find a place. Hey guys, it's the same day. It's 741 at night. So it's been about four hours and like almost five hours since I got the chemical peel done. And I have to wash my face and apply the Precision Plus Towelette and then wait 30 minutes and apply the VIP Purifying Towelette. So I apply the Precision Plus first and then I go in with the Purify. So now, when I was getting the chemical peel done, I feel like I could tell that this peel was about to peel like crazy. Like the last peel that I got, it was it got pretty flaky and peely, but like immediately right off rip I could tell if the peel is gonna peel my face like sheets or in like little flakes and I feel like this peel is gonna be sheets like it's gonna be lifting off my face because when I left there um, my face got felt really tight like it feels right now currently it feels really tight around my mouth and then in certain areas like my face just feels tight already if your face doesn't don't freak out or anything especially if you want to get this done like don't freak out you still most likely will peel I just could tell just doing this so many times the difference so I feel I personally feel like the VI peel precision and the VI peel precision plus purify they have like I think they have like three or four different types of VI peels um, are different they're all different I feel like the purify really does purify like getting all of that crap out of your skin and it also makes you peel a lot more so I just washed my face Ugh, my face feels kind of irritated so you know when you exfoliate too much that's what my face feels like right now it doesn't 
hurt necessarily it just feels like it's gonna itch like this peel is gonna itch I can tell like my face is gonna be itching a lot with this peel I can already tell I can already tell but it's worth it at the end like and I've been trying to take care of my skin lately um like with my serums and stuff like that I feel like my skin looks a lot better than it used to but I just still have some hyperpigmentation that's kind of it's really hard to get rid of and the peel just really helps with that I'm gonna go in with the ooh right here it just ooh it kind of burns so I'm supposed to use the green one first so the green one is the first one that you use with the purify this got some juice in it I want all of that juice okay I'm just gonna go in like this Here's the cream. I can't remember what this is like. I remember the SPF being really white and thick. <laughs> My face doesn't feel itchy right now. It just feels really tight. And it feels like it's about to itch. Like you know when you're about to sneeze? Sort of like that. Especially around my mouth. It feels really smooth. Kind of smells like sunscreen a little bit. I just got out of the shower. It is 11:38, and my face feels so tight around my mouth, and I feel like my face is scabbing up already. Like right here, I feel like it's scabbed over, and then like here, I just see it gradually getting darker right here. Like those old scars are just getting darker. Towelette. So you do the white towelette first and then you wait 30 minutes go in and do the green one which is the purify and then uh, wait 10 minutes and then apply the lotion. Ooh, that's in my eye, don't do that. Okay, so I'll be back in 30 minutes to do the next step. It's been 30 minutes. So now I'm gonna apply the other towelette. So I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and then I'm gonna apply my lotion, but it's already 12 o'clock, it's the next day. I'll see you guys later today. I can't even get this camera. Okay. Guys, my face is itching like crazy. I did not put on that cream last night. Um, but I'm trying to figure out my lighting situation, but like, <laughs> my face is itching too bad. Okay, I think I just need to apply the cream or the post peel protectant because I didn't do it last night. I just took a shower, my face is washed. <laughs> this is how my face looks right now. It's so dry. Do you see like how dry it is and how dark my dark spots are getting? I'm about to slather this stuff on oh, like crazy. Oh. oh my god, that was itching really bad. Does that mean it's gonna peel real good? The way I can describe the itching is like under the skin itch. Kind of like eczema. <laughs> under the skin, if you've ever had eczema, because I do and have had bad flare-ups. Like eczema scratching you from the inside out. Oh, gee. I'm going to use the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Sunscreen. This is SPF 50 as well. I'm going to use that because I don't want to be white. And today I have a bridal makeup trial for a bride, obviously. And I'm going outside, so I want to make sure that my skin is protected. I'm not sure why this is so white right now. Maybe because of the post peel protectant, but I'm going to put it on my neck too. So a lot of people wonder if you could go to work with a chemical peel, if you can go outside with a chemical peel, if you can do like regular activities while having a chemical peel. I'm going to show you guys that you can. My bridal makeup trial went really well. Nobody could tell that I had a chemical peel on my face. The only thing that was a little off was that my dark spots were a little bit darker because they were about to fall off. But other than that, my skin looked completely normal. It's 11 o'clock at night, Saturday. Um, this morning I just washed my face, but tonight I have to do two of the peel pads, so I'm going to do that. 
Um, I already washed my face. Um, this time my face is looking very dry. Um, it's not itching right now though. Um, but earlier was itching a little bit. But it's not itching right now. Um, my dark spots are dark. They are dark. They're definitely looking real scabbish right now. Scabby. This side is dark as well. I don't have as much on this side, but it's still dark. And my forehead um, scars has gotten darker. And my pimples, like my little white heads that I had, are like dried up. I don't know if you could see. Let me zoom in. It's like scabbing up a lot. It like killed that pimple. But yeah, this is my face right now. So I'm going to do the Precision Plus first. Today went really well. Like I said, usually day two, you can't even tell that you got a chemical pill done. My makeup trial went really well. I'll put pictures right here. Um, Kaya loved her makeup. Her wedding is in a couple of weeks. I usually do like a makeup trial a month before the wedding because you don't want to do it too soon because, you know, people tan and change colors and all that stuff. So... I'm really tired though. I am tired. Had a long day. So I have to do the second peel pad in 30 minutes. I'm going to take a shower real quick, but I'm not going to wash my face off. Um, that's probably going to take me a good 20 minutes in the shower. And then probably not that long. I'm trying not to raise water. I'm trying to be more water conscious. But I'm going to take a shower and then I'll come back out and do the... I'm tired. And yes, I have two of the Satan bras, okay? I just took a shower. This is the juicy one. Who do this one for? Ooh, it's juicy. I'm done. I'm going to wait like 30 minutes and then I'm going to put on the cream. This is day three at around 4.30. And as you can tell, my face is beginning to peel slightly. This is my face same day at 10 p.m. And as you can see, I'm starting to peel a good amount. Wait for it, because it's gonna get worse. <laughs> so I got up to use the bathroom. It's like almost midnight, the bathroom. And I just so happened to look in the mirror. And I'm peeling a lot more than I was earlier. Like a lot more. And my lips are really crusty. I don't know, every time I get a chemical peel, my lips get kind of crusty. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Starting to peel. It's 11, 12, it's Monday, and I'm peeling really bad. We're on our way to the museum, and um, I have to go like this. So for all of you people that have to um, go to work, but you want a chemical peel, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So really, all I do is, um, I'll just throw on a mask. This part of my forehead is peeling, but it's not that bad, I don't think. And um, I'm in the car. I forgot to apply sunscreen at home because we were kind of rushing, but um, I'm gonna do it now in the car. Let's zoom in on my face so you guys can see. I feel like today is the worst that my face is gonna look. And of course, I have to go somewhere. On the day, it looks really bad. Right? But I mean, I guess it's good for the experiment. We're going to like a kid's museum, so hopefully I don't scare the kids. But I'm just gonna put my mask on and call it a day, but. Say hi, guys. Hi. Say hi, Leela. Say hi, Leela. I'm putting on my sunscreen. I wear this sunscreen when I don't have a peel as well, but it's like a stick and it's easy to reapply. So I'm just gonna put this on up. Um, there we go. I know you're supposed to apply it this way, but I'm just gonna tap it on. I'm just being really gentle around my mouth areas like this. I feel like this is a good sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast. I think I know what the future is. You especially need to apply sunscreen if you have a chemical peel because it can ruin your skin in the process of getting the peel. So this one is a good one without um, a white cast. Ooh, there's skin on here. 
But now I'm gonna get my neck. My skin feels so tight up here, look at that. My forehead was peeling a lot and my skin looked just very dry and snake-like. But anyways, me and my babies had a good time. Um, my daughter is homeschooled, so this was one of our science projects to dissect owl pellets, and it was like $5 at the museum, so we went and had us a good old time with our little science project. As you can see, when I take my mask down, this is how my face looks. Masks are not required anymore, but I do wear them still sometimes, especially when I'm going through the peeling process because it just covers my mouth. The mouth part just looks the worst. Look at my babies, they had a little y'all. So we went out to eat too. I went out to eat looking crusty, you know? And I ate a lot. I had a good old time sitting there talking, looking like this. Okay guys, so currently it is 4.41. I just wanna show you guys how fast the peel progresses throughout the, throughout the day. Oh, it's a little itchy. Ooh, like when it starts to peel in certain places, it gets really itchy. Ooh, and like where it hasn't peeled yet, kind of itches a little bit oh i just want to and then this extra skin i'm probably gonna have to cut but i'm most likely gonna take another shower later tonight so in the shower i'm just gonna kind of gently use the face wash to kind of get the excess skin off gently um sometimes i also use like a oil kind of oil cleanse first and then go on with the cleanser because it kind of sloughs like slosh off sloughs I don't know the word. It kind of gets off the dead skin, okay? Also, this kind of proves my theory to where I was saying the VI peel purify is different than the regular VIP peels. The VI peels, not VI. The regular VI peels, I feel like the purify is the best one because it makes you peel more and you see visible results faster. That's just my opinion. I've had all of them done before and I feel like this one, you see the most physical peeling. It's the most satisfying and um, the results are a lot better because it helps to like purify your acne and then it also helps to get rid of like any dark marks like fade them my nose is itching my entire face is itching honestly right now going to the museum today was kind of awkward but it was okay guys i really don't really care what people think people were looking at my forehead i could tell you know how you can tell when somebody's like looking at your hair if your hair's messed up or you got a booger in your nose and people are staring at you but not saying something like that's kind of how it felt today because my forehead was peeling and it looks very like snake like so I know people were looking at me, especially when I was talking directly to people, but like, look at that. Oof! Like I really, I really didn't care that much. I just know at the end of this process, my skin is gonna be buttery smooth. And a lot of people, some people just ask questions like, hey, like, um, what's going on with your face? Like people aren't really rude about it. And I kind of just explain it to them like, oh, I got a chemical peel. And most people actually already know what a chemical peel is. So it's not really too foreign to a lot of people. So. Those of you worried about going to work with a peel, especially if you work in like a corporate office, if you can wear a mask, wear a mask. It definitely helps camouflage this area because I feel like this area is the worst part. Um, so yeah, wear a mask if you can. If you cannot, take a couple days off on days three and four because that's when you start to peel the most, looking like this. I will update you guys sometime later today, maybe. <laughs> I'm currently eating the most superior ice cream known to man. It's 10 16 and I was gonna go take a shower. My forehead is literally falling off. And I was like, oh, that big piece is starting to like shed. It looks like beef jerky. I knew this was gonna be a good peel. I told you I could feel it from the first day. It's an update. I'm gonna go wash my face now. I'm gonna go do that now and I will update you guys tomorrow. I look a mess, but today is day. F I don't know what day it is. But it's Tuesday and it's two o'clock in the afternoon and I woke up really late. My forehead is peeling like crazy. Like, do you guys see that? And I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I have little white heads. Like I have a big juicy white head right here. But I've noticed with these peels that your skin tends to keep healing. My lips are crusty too. My skin tends to keep healing over time. Actually, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how I wash my face and how I make my face look more presentable. I guess like pretending as if I was going somewhere. I had somewhere to go today. Let me put my hair up. What I like to do first, because clearly, oh my god, look how dark my skin is right here, and then look how light it is right here. Like, wow. 
So I'm going to grab a garbage can because skin gets everywhere. So I have my garbage can right here. I have scissors um, that look clean. I'm going to sanitize them because ain't nobody got time for this. I'm going to use some alcohol to just clean them. So like the skin that's hanging, you don't want to pull the skin because you can ruin your face. And the point is to get rid of hyperpigmentation, so you just literally want to cut it. So you don't want to pull the skin. Oh, I just pulled it by mistake. You don't want to do that. Okay, don't do that. Um, all I'm going to do is like this little flap right here. I'm just going to cut it. Even though there'll be some new skin falling off. I just want to make sure that there's no hanging skin right now and even after I wash my face there's going to be some hanging skin but I just don't want to snag it I don't want to snag it as I'm washing my face because that can hurt too especially if the skin is not ready to come off I'm just kind of lifting the skin up and cutting like that and you want to do that until you get to the very edge of the skin where it doesn't lift anymore on its own like that like that hasn't peeled yet on its own anything that automatically lifts up my skin still is gonna have that demarcation that line of demarcation but the skin won't be hanging but throughout the day especially if you're going to work you might want to bring scissors with you and on your breaks go to the bathroom look at your face because you could be talking to people and your face looks a hot mess and you don't even know it because you thought you're good to go because you just cut it not too long ago but your skin is constantly peeling off so you want to make sure that you like you're checking in the mirror because you can be talking with hanging skin hanging off your face also explain it to people too but i'm not going to do that now because i'm staying in the house but yeah cut all these edges all those edges like this off you're supposed to use these that they give you right i never do because they kind of make me itch a lot okay so you would run out of those anyways throughout the peel they what she gave me like two so i like to use hold on this is a purpose cleanser to me i use this to put my contacts in my eyes so before i put my contacts in my eyes i wash my hands with this soap um and then i use a paper towel to put my contacts in like you know to wipe my hands so i don't get any fuzzies on my contacts whatever that's a whole nother video but this is very gentle to where i can put the soap in my eyes per se not really in my eyes but i can touch my eyes with it without it irritating my eyes i used to use this on my face like if i do want a gentle cleanser i do use this on my face on a regular day um but i use this specifically specifically for chemical peels because it's very gentle and it, it's like water-based it's very very gentle cleanser not very popular but it's very effective and gentle i wet my hands first i put the purpose cleanser in my hands and then i rub my hands together like this i do this for like 60 seconds until it gets really foamy and i'm just gonna gently go in and wash my face and i'm gonna wash my face for about 60 seconds and I'm just being really gentle because I don't want to pull any skin and that's the worst feeling pulling skin because if it's not ready it's gonna hurt all I'm gonna do is go to the sink put water in my hands and then splash the water on my face like that I'm not gonna use a washcloth or anything because that can you don't want to even try to attempt to exfoliate okay so I just washed my face this is how it's looking it looks really good like the center of my face looks really good and the point I see a lot of comments like this like people are like oh you want to be lighter so the point of this peel is to get rid of hyperpigmentation meaning my dark spots on my face I do not want to be lighter I actually prefer being darker funny thing right <laughs> crazy right <laughs> actually not the skin that you see peeling has died has died right so it has gotten darker because it's dead it's like a scab a scab gets darker right so my skin is actually not this dark this is my natural skin tone this is how I look in the winter time so at the end of the day like I'm never trying to be light skin ever I usually go on with my sunscreen first I'm gonna be inside all day so I'll be okay I'm gonna be in my office so windows closed I'll be fine um you should still kind of apply sunscreen even if you're in the house because of the windows and stuff like that but 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that that's it so what I like to apply is this I don't use anything with acids in it or anything too harsh like I said I use my purpose cleanser in this because they're really gentle with no active ingredients in them I like to use this because it's, it helps to seal in the moisture and then it's really good for my skin if you can't use petroleum jelly or Vaseline don't do it something that I carry in my purse all the time when I'm out is this stick this is a Vaseline stick I love this because I can just apply it on the go when I'm peeling and it helps to camouflage everything it helps to camouflage my face it doesn't camouflage the lines of demarcation but it does camouflage the hanging skin and the separation of the skin it just doesn't look as bad so I'm gonna apply this and I always apply my products going downwards instead of upwards I do wash my face gently upwards but the products I just apply downwards and skin always comes off but that's normal as long as you're not going against your skin that's a lot of skin that's all I do today until it's time to wash my face later Leilani and I went to the library for our homeschool today and look at how camouflaged my face looks. It doesn't even really look like I have a peel, it just kind of looks like I have dead skin going on a little bit. But it doesn't look as bad because I did my whole moisturizing routine. This is definitely a good way to camouflage it. Hey guys, it is Wednesday 9.30 at night. Let me show you. I got a juicy pimple right here. Couple white heads right there. Um, my skin is peeled for the most part. A couple of white heads that popped up right here. Um, my skin is still peeling down here. So at this point, I still wouldn't put on makeup, but um, it's a lot less notice. It's a lot less noticeable, and I feel a lot more comfortable going outside. Even though I mean I was comfortable anyways, but let's say you had to work a job and you had to go to work today. I feel like today I would be more comfortable than day three, three and four. But I am breaking out a little bit on my forehead, um, which is normal because this helps to like purify your skin or whatever. That's how much I have left to peel on this side. My skin looks good though, other than like the little mini breakouts. And then under here, you can see I got a lot more to peel underneath here. So I just washed my face and the little whiteheads kind of went away, but I can't take it anymore. I can't. Um, I have one here. I tried to pop. I just said don't pop them, didn't I? And I just came in here, looked in the mirror, and popped my zit. I knew it wouldn't pop. My face looks shiny and nice, like, in the center, for sure. But, like, these little purging, purifying zits gotta go. So, because I can't take it anymore and I have zero self-control, and my nail is messed up, I'm getting a face tomorrow, um, I'm going to do something about it, okay? Because when I wake up in the morning, I don't want them to be there. I don't. These come in clutch. I've never used these while I've had a chemical peel going on, but I use these all the time. So this is how they look right now. I mean, they're not really bad. Let me zoom out. They're not really bad, but this is how they look right now. Um, this one actually popped in the shower as I was washing my face. This is how the peel is looking. It looks pretty much the same. But um, this one right here, you see that? That's a little baby zit. I mean, it's nothing to complain about at all, but I don't want them there. I'm not telling you to do it, but this is what I do. So I'm gonna put some alcohol in here just to make sure that these stick, okay? This actually doesn't burn, but I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just showing you what I do, okay? Oh, that one burns because I popped it. Uh, Okay. I'll put that one there and I kind of like hold it until it turns clear, like transparent. Look at this. This is right there. That right there. This is how my face is looking. I still have some peeling going on, like on the outer portion of my face. Right here. And then this is under my chin. I feel like my under here is pretty much peeled. Um, I don't have, I have a little bit over here that still has yet to peel. And this one I had to change last night because it started coming off because I put my um, Vaseline on my face. So I changed this one to a heart. Oh snap, look at all that juice it had. That is completely flat now, completely flat. It's a little bit red, but it's flat and that'll heal probably like today. 
Okay, the next one, which I feel is still there. Yeah, it's still there, but I feel like that one just wasn't ready yet. It's still there, but it's white, 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 white. That one is completely flat. These work so well. Just that bad boy right there. It's gonna bother me all day, but I might, after I wash my face, I might put on another patch to see if it goes away. Or should I leave it alone? I don't know. So it's been a week since I got the peel. Today is Friday and I got my peel done last Friday. Um, this is how my face is looking. I have a little bit more skin left to peel on both sides. My skin feels really soft and smooth and tight, which I like. Um, I feel I call this like the honeymoon phase where your skin is tight for about a couple of days. My breakouts are definitely going away. There were just like little whiteheads that pop up because it's the purified peel. But yeah, my skin looks really nice and glowy. I haven't even washed my face yet today. Remember, this is how my skin looked on day one before the peel. I feel like it looked good based on where I started, but look at my skin now. So it's been 18 days since I got my chemical peel done, and my skin feels amazing. Towards the end of the peel, I kind of purged a little bit. This is the purified peel. Correct. Right, okay. So it does like purify your skin, on top of like, you know, getting rid of di dense, is it dense skin? Discoloration. Discoloration and everything like that. Katie's sitting here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my skin looks really, really good. Really like healthy, glowy. Like the texture of my skin, like, okay, come, come on. Okay. You gotta feel, you gotta nice feel. Come on, Anna's here, she works at the office and she's gonna feel my face. Like, I just want people to feel how my face feels after the chemical peel because honestly, it feels so good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Looks like a a baby's butt. Yeah. <laughs> no, it seriously. So it feels good. so soft. And it's reflecting light much better too. Yeah. yeah. Really like, like a nice. And my texture, mm -hmm. like the texture that was there, is like gone. Beautiful. <laughs> right. Yeah. I love it. See how but, you reflect light up here? Yeah. Too, like it's my not just shiny. That's fresh. Right. Skin cells. Like, look at that. Reflecting light butter. I feel like. And that smoothness helps with your makeup application. Yes. Oh my god. I put on makeup one time since the peel and it went on so smooth. So this is how my face looked when I got home. Just a reminder, this is day one. This is after the peel. But guys, look at my face today, okay? This is technically almost a month after getting the peel. When I tell you my face is glowing, the texture is non-existent, honey. Mmm. I love me a good VIP. Watch these other videos, okay? I have over 300 videos that you can watch, and I'll see you in the next one.